Carnegie Mellon has a very distinguished history in brain research. Starting in the late 1950s, we had some of the most prominent people in the world that were starting the field of computer science and thinking about what we think of now as artificial intelligence. And so this really set the stage that became all the things we think of as modern brain research through the rest of the century and into the present day. The human brain is a fascinating device because it's probably the most complex device in the known universe. And it's something that we really don't understand very well at this point. But we have all of the potential and all of the research that we're doing to connect all of the dots. My own personal research has to do with understanding the human visual system. And I've been interested not in how the eye works or how the early parts of the visual system work, but really how you take all that information that's streaming in constantly from your everyday experience and turn that into your experience about objects, scenes, people, faces, all the things that we actually think about and then we interact with all the time that really make up our visual world. So it's really something that provides incredible challenges but also incredible benefit, not only for understanding the basic science, but also thinking about how we can take our understanding of human behavior and turn it into benefits for all of society. Carnegie Mellon is very serious about pursuing cutting edge brain research and cutting edge um, science in general, and in particular taking the really special things about Carnegie Mellon particularly our engineering and our computer science, and bringing them into how we study one of the most complex things in the known universe, the human brain. And this was something that our new president, Subra Suresh, was really supportive of and felt that it would be an important initiative for really the coming decades for Carnegie Mellon. Brain Hub is about bringing people together. In particular, bringing people together that don't traditionally talk with one another. So taking all of our engineers, all of our computer scientists, all of our brain researchers, all of our machine learning experts, and putting them all together so that we can talk about problems and figure out new ways to solve them that haven't been done before. And we hope not only for it to be bringing people together at Carnegie Mellon, but people together throughout the rest of the world.